In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to build diminished chords. Um, we've already talked about how to build major chords with roots, major thirds, and perfect fifths, and minor chords with roots, minor thirds, and perfect fifths. Now we're going to talk about diminished chords. Most guitar players start by learning, you know, maybe a G, C2, and a D or something like that, but then they start learning some of the keys of chords. Um, and when we talk about chord keys, for example, in the key of G, it would be G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, and then F sharp, diminished. You see it written like this sometimes, like this, and you can play it like this. Um, that seventh chord in all of those keys, when, whether it be the key of G, the key of C chords, key of D, all of the keys of chords, the seventh chord is always a diminished chord. Um, you don't see diminished chords very often in chord charts when we're learning popular music, um, like on this site with country music. You don't see diminished chords written on the page, uh, but it's a very important music theory concept, and like I just said, you'll come across diminished chords in every key of chords that you'll learn. So it's important to talk about and understand which we're gonna do right now. I'll tell you how they're built and then uh, we'll talk about why, all right? So just like a major chord is root, major, third, fifth, and a minor is root, minor, third, fifth, a diminished chord is root, minor, third, flat, fifth. Um, so that's the simple version. Now let's talk about why. So just like when we were talking about um, E minor, we built the chord starting on E note. Um, we're in the key of G here, like we said. And so we get to the seventh degree of the G scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have our F sharp note. Okay, we can keep going on that G scale. So if we take this F sharp note, and we remember when we build chords, it's always one, three, five. And you know, the third might be major, might be minor. And the fifth might be a perfect fifth, or it might be a flat fifth. So we just have to see. Let's go up the scale here. We have, we're on an F sharp note, and we're going to build a triad. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So when we're building an F sharp diminished chord, because we're playing in the key of G, we have root, minor third, flat fifth. All right, let's, why am I calling it a flat fifth? Let's look at it. We have an F sharp note, an A note, and a C note. Just to make it easier to visualize, let's go up the neck instead of across here, all right? F sharp note, A note, C note. We can connect the dots with the G scale. One, two, three, four, five. F sharp to A, what's that interval? Why is it a minor third? We have a half step and we have a whole step. So a half step plus a whole step is a minor third. All right, and from the A, what do we have there? We have a whole step and a half step. So a whole step and a half step, when you put that together, is a minor third. So another way to say this would be to make a diminished chord, we're going to stack two minor thirds on top of each other. Okay, that also is the same as saying uh, root minor third perfect fifth. I'm sorry, root minor third flat fifth. If it was a perfect fifth, if this was the F sharp, we know on guitar next, this is a perfect fifth, right? Or you can go. So that would be a C sharp note would be the perfect fifth, but that's not in the G scale. It's a C natural. So this is the fifth in this chord, in the F sharp diminished. And instead of it being a perfect fifth, we're gonna go down one half step from that perfect fifth, and it's a flat fifth. Root, minor third, flat fifth. Root, minor third, flat fifth. Root, minor third, flat fifth. So remember, when we're talking about a triad, when we uh, make the distinction of, we're not talking about a chord, we're talking about a chord triad or a triad. Um, we're just talking about identifying the three notes triad, the three notes that make individual specific notes that make up that chord. And you can have, when you're just talking about a chord, you can have those three notes as many times as you want. So just like, you know, that's a F sharp diminished triad. 
But we might want to play an F sharp like this. Um, or, you know, you could play like this. And all we're doing there is we're adding a couple extra of those notes in. So here, we have F sharp, we have an A, a C, and an F sharp, right? And now you know how to build all those types of chords, and hopefully you're understanding that we build those chords all because we, we go root, third, fifth, and we do that based on the scale we're talking about. So to build the key of G set of chords, to get a G major, we would go one, two, three, four, five, root, third, fifth. And that's a root, major third, perfect fifth. To get an A minor chord, we'd go, starting on the A note, using the G scale, one, two, three, four, five, root, third, fifth, root, minor third, perfect fifth. Um, same with all the other minor chords in the key of G, and like we just talked about, the diminished, one, two, three, four, five, root, minor third, flat fifth. And you can do that with any scale, and that is how we come up with these keys of chords.